Hello, I'm Sally, and this is my log. My log is here in the secret garden. Well, it's more the unused garden. It's been unused for 20 years. Well, at least it was before these green ladder people got their hands on it, you know, and started clearing everything and making it look better as part of their transforming the campus scheme. You see, they started by clearing away all the weeds and dead trees. Digging away they were, and now they've just got to decide what they're going to do with the place. I've heard that the Green Ladder Project have a few different ideas for the secret garden. From having it as a place for students to go and sit and enjoy the outdoors, to putting up places for animals to live in and come and eat, like bird feeders and things. But they're still looking for ideas. It's an ongoing project and they want to get more students involved. I personally would love lots of flowers. I like flowers. Birds. I don't like birds. They're going to be putting up bird boxes all over the campus. Can you believe that? I mean, the students will get to enjoy the wildlife, and it gives nature a home. But what about me and all my insect friends? We're going to be bird food. It's the RSPB, you know. They came in on Green Week, and help students make bird boxes and bird feeders. They were promoting the Give Nature a Home campaign. I mean, it's a brilliant thing for UCLAN and the Green Ladder Project to be involved in, but maybe give them a home away from mine. There's another three spaces, four including this garden up for transformation, and they say it's going to be happening over the next two years, which is exciting, so hopefully my grandchildren will get to see it all when it's done. There's an area near the media factory up for development and there's an idea to build an upcycling sculpture or a fountain using old materials to have a better path and grass for people to sit on. There's also the potential for an edible campus. I checked and that doesn't mean we can eat the buildings. Instead, the Green Ladder Project are hoping to plant fruit trees and vegetables. I mean, if they're planting lettuces, I'll be there. And students can get involved, planting, maintaining, and then they can eat what they grow. It's all to help with sustainable food production on campus. Transforming the campus doesn't just help wildlife, it'll help those involved and those students who want to help out. They'll gain new skills and be able to lead projects to help transform different areas. Overall, it's going to help so many different people. It's going to beautify the campus, and it's something fun to do. So I think more of you, yes, you, should get involved because I want some more flowers to munch on and, if you can manage it, some lettuces as well. So get transforming.